Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your new Amazfit Band 7 with Zeep app on an Android phone, also in the next video we will show how to connect with an iOS device. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, let's begin here immediately. We have here the new Amazfit Band 7 first and let's see how to connect it. To download the Zeep app, you can find it on Play Store by name, or you can find it by your QR code on your watch, you can scan the QR code and it will give you the link to download it. After it's been downloaded, tap open and sign in with an account. We usually use Google account. Firstly we have to allow location and then contacts, phone calls, call logs, Bluetooth and do not disturb. After all that to connect the watch we have to go to the third page where we find the add device and choose what device you're trying to connect. This time we have a band, press band and it will open the camera where we have to scan the QR code. We have to accept the request in the watch to connect it. After it's connected we can see the instructions on the phone. As you can see the watch is connected and turned on. We already have an update. Let's run it and see what we have on the app. Here at the top we have the percentage of battery and underneath that is the first option health monitoring where we can find auto heart rate monitor, active heart rate monitoring, sleep and stress. Here on this page we can turn them on and off and customize a few things. Next is notification for incoming calls, app alerts where you can choose the apps that you want to get notifications from, standing reminder, incoming SMS and goal notification, in this page you can customize these one by one so look carefully and see what options you want to turn on or off. After that we have watch faces where we can find a lot of them and it's very easy to change them. You can download a few and you can change them in a matter of seconds. To download one it may take a minute. You have a variety of them starting from classics, sport ones, more casual etc. Let's see how to work with them. In the App Store we will find more apps to download like, BMI, Brush Teeth, Real Time Heart Rate etc. All the apps that you download here will appear at the end of the menu. Next we have Band Settings where the first option is Display and Brightness. Here we can adjust Brightness, Screen on Time, Always on Display, Lift Wrist to View Info and Screen on Upon Notification. Next we will find Vibration for Incoming Call, Watch Alarm, App Alert, standing time, SMS, goal notification and to-do list. After that is do not disturb. Off wrist password and next stands edit quick access apps where we can change the order and add more apps on the right side of the watch, you can put the apps that you use daily on top to access them faster. Here is how it looks after the change. Edit control center is the same but for the top part, again we can change the order or add more options. And the last option is language. App list management we can customize the order of the apps in the menu same as we saw before. Here you can put apps that you use more often at the top so you can access faster. Here you can see how it looks after the change of order. Here we have some apps like, Alexa, Weather, Alarm, To-Do List and Word Clock. Find Watch, Discoverable, Activity Heart Rate Share, Real-Time Data, Run in Background, Lab where we can connect the camera, this way we can control the camera from the watch. Let's try this option and see how it works. System Update and About This Device are the last options in this page. Back at the Profile page where we are seeing My Goal, My Route, My Records, Friends, Add Account, User Feedback, Smart Analysis and Settings. These were just in the watch page that we connected in the beginning, now we will see all the data from the first page that shows when you open the app. First stands the steps with charts and other data for it, we can see statistics for day week month and year also we have data for distance, duration and burned calories that we did throughout this journey. After that is heart rate again with similar options the chart for lowest and highest heart rate and we can see for a day, week, month or a year worth of statistics. 
Next we have stress same as other options before all the data will be here which makes it very easy to track our health. After that is blood oxygen again with the same options like we saw in other health options. Sleep again we have the hours of sleep for the last night, light sleep, deep sleep and the quality throughout the night. In workout history we'll find all the workouts that we did with all the data that is necessary like distance, route that we did for that walk or run, burned calories, steps, heart rate etc. This was all for today's video, in the next one we will show you how to connect your watch with iOS. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.